my best friend chose to go for a BTech IT A level thing, and I figured I'd follow her, <laughs> um, and just sort of went into it and found I really enjoyed it even more than I ever realised. And my teacher was amazing. I'm still good friends with him now, and found I really enjoyed it. I seemed to be quite good at it. Every day I'm learning, especially since I've been here, my skill level has sort of just increased so much. It's not barriers per se, um, there's definitely been quite a lot of bias. I felt a lot of that. Um, my first experience of bias was in sixth form. Um, a, a student, same age as me in the same class, struggling with one of the um, tests, you know, we were sat in a, a class doing a, a mock test. I offered my help, he completely refused and then asked a guy. I remember just sat there like really, especially because I was doing quite well in that class. I passed with an A star, so you know, I, I thought I, I can help, this is a subject I really know about and they just completely blanked me. It was something that was quite scary to get into. I was very aware that that was going to be the case. I was going to be the only woman working with a bunch of guys. I've never really cared what people thought of me. I've always been very open. I do what I want. So I sort of push forward with that same feeling. I think it's been, people are becoming more open about it. There's more in the media of, of there being women in higher positions and the higher positions and technical positions, there's push towards STEM. I think seeing more women helps, definitely just, just seeing people on television, um, more women in technical positions. Ignore everyone else that thinks you can't do it, because you can. I think the fact that it shows of how far we have come, but we also have quite a ways to still go. Women in IT is, is a great thing. I, I quite like that I am pushing that, pushing the boundaries and it's something that more people should do.